Welcome to game three between Doodle and So. So's tournament life on the line. And I was not expecting this considering how So played against Fisheye earlier in the series where he was able to take uh, matches in his grouping to advance over Fisheye in the first position. Bottom right in corner, we have him as the Teal Terran. Upper right in corner, Doodle as the Yellow Protoss. This is on Butter. And this could be a challenging one because Butter is one of those maps that Protoss over and over and over again will oftentimes go for the proxy one gate. And the early one gate, honestly, very light pressure from Doodle. So has not been able to resist or cope with, really. And as a result, I would expect more of the same. I would expect, especially in this map, Butter being so famous for it, some proxy, well, it looks like we're seeing an initial pylon interior to the base, but I would still expect gateway pressure. I'm actually surprised that Doodle after game one and game two, essentially winning it basically in the early game with some fantastic micromanagement that he didn't go for the proxy gateway in this instance. He is sending out an immediate scout after Pylon to get that probe early in the base, and that could create some havoc. Probably wants a gas deal. That is something that is just standard on this map as well. So waiting to go ahead for the front door blockade, but doesn't drop it as of yet. The probe going to be able to sneak in and already in position you had to grab well was thinking about grabbing that gas now didn't save the minerals to do so so positionally it looked like he was going to go for that gas save but instead dropped the barracks early let the gas get stolen and now we're playing from here and this does look like it might be a 12 command center 11 command center something along those lines one of those command center numbers immediately after pylon scv scooting up 12 going to be 12 in this instance usually it's 12 but the probe has taken, well, actually, never mind, has some shield and has done half health on that SCV. That might have been the barracks SCV, but four, sorry, three SCV being pulled to deal with that assimilator. So that's going to cut a little bit in the early game economy. This is also going to mean if there's going to be a follow up attack from So, So is going to have to do it with barracks play and barracks play alone. And pulling that previous SCV off the barracks means there's going to be a delay in initial harassment. He's pulling it off again, which is going to delay that barracks further. So the options to get aggressive here are going to rely on this SCV maybe remaining hidden in the shadows. No, it looks like it's going back into the light and it's just being left there unfinished. Now the refinery being dropped. Thank you for the raid, by the way, Jiraiya. Wait, everybody, welcome to the game. Finally, an SCV going back out, but right now, Doodle in firm control of the match and the refinery is still not finished. And it looks like Doodle is going to escape having executed this build, single SCV, trying to attack that pylon, now taking damage from the probe, a forge being dropped alongside as well. Another SCV making its way out, maybe to build something in proximity, but I don't even know that that forge was necessary. Single Marine having some trouble tracking down that initial probe. That probe should be able to scoop back to the corner and get vision on the barracks, and it does in fact see that thir third Marine queued. Isn't going to survive to see whether there's a fourth Marine queued or not. Looks like SCV making its way across. So waiting to position maybe to drop a factory. Now what would be clever is he drops the factory here at the three o'clock location and goes, uh, goes from there and floats it interior to the base. But instead, maybe he was building a factory here, has canceled that and has gone for a second barracks. And we see an academy being hidden, it looks like, at the three o'clock. Is this going to get scouted? A zealot's already out there. We do have a cannon on the front. Now, this is going to be effectively a fake attempt at an expansion for So. He's going to have to make sure he takes care of any additional scouting. That zealot could just suicide in and maybe get the information. It looks like he's already kind of moving out into the corner. But we're going to see a very rare marine medic push into Protoss. Usually that is hoping that there are more... Dragoons out on the field because Marines can shred Dragoon Shield rather rapidly. Also, there is a hope that Psy Storm or Robotics Tech is not out because that's kind of the race is before that very powerful Protoss splash damage can annihilate the Medic Marine front. Three gateway follow-up, which means there could be a sufficient amount of troops for Doodle. On the turnaround, two zealots making their way towards the front. Also, second trick of this here is if he sees a bunker full of marines and three marines waiting to the side, that will be a huge indicator that he's in fact going up against a medic marine push 
rather than some other style of play. Stim pack being upgraded. Okay, finally, it looks like so backing those off. The Zealots finding Marines in the bunker immediately turning right back around. That is for Zealots. A probe making its way across as well. Don't see the SCV returning home. Is that probe going to find the Academy? Randomly finds the Academy. So now has all that signaling to say, go ahead and drop robotics facility. Let's see if Doodle saves the resources to do so and backs up into his base. He's already dropping a second cannon to help defend against the front has pulled probes out of the assimilator. Yeah, all he needs to do is, is get to, is have some sufficient defense, get to robotics and get a single reaver out. Four medics being fielded. Bulk of medic Marines there to the corner. Dragoons on the front, additional cannons being dropped. Troops continuing to the front. Looks like Doodle wants to just go ahead and stop this out using Photon Cannon Tech alone. One Marine being wiped out. The Dragoon looks like it's going to get picked off. There's still that probe bottom left. He's trying to create a bit of delay. Confirms that it is a medic. I mean, he already knew, but confirms without any doubt that it's a medic Marine army marching towards the front. Citadel of a Dune dropping, so it looks like he wants to go for the High Templar option. A Dragoon also... Sneaking behind the backfield, does get linebackered out. Now so showing some really much sharper micromanagement. He is basically all in. You can see by the worker count just how all in he is. So if the cannons hold, that will be it. So just GGing upon seeing the fact that the cannons were in place. is not even going to try to pick them off or engage the army. And with that... Ugh... That's a disappointing way to, to have it execute out. But sufficient salts, sufficient dragoons, sufficient cannons. Not going to worry about it. That is three games to doodle and in a sweep advances to the semifinal. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did give a like and subscribe. As always, I appreciate your viewership. Thank you for listening.